Just allow the eyes to open and see what you see when you're not trying to see. When your eyes aren't under strain. What was the first thing you noticed you uh, when you started to go blind? And how old were you at the time? I didn't even notice, but people were starting to tell me that my eye was red. And that started a chain of going to specialist and then getting a diagnosis of uveitis. It's very tricky business to learn to feel our eyes. Even what is uveitis? Uveitis is a autoimmune disease wherein the immune system attacks the inner lining of the eyeball, which contains blood vessels that supply the eye. Those blood vessels begin to become inflamed. And what was it like for you to lose your sight? I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't know how to brush my teeth. I couldn't put toothpaste on the toothbrush. So it started there in the morning, and it just went through the whole day of having to relearn to do everything without having any edges or lines or surfaces or anything clear. So that was hard. Though of course, emotionally, it was overwhelming because I felt that I was gone. And somehow or other, you turned this around. What happened? So I thought, you know, I got to get out of the house. And I had experienced the Feldenkrais method years before. I discovered little clues that Feldenkrais understood the eyes very well, in fact. And he understood the relationship of the movement of the eyes with the movement of the body and how the eyes organize the body. And I thought, well, if the eyes organize the movements of the body, or the muscles of the body, then I can work at the equation the other way. Why? What made you think it was a two-way street? Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a systems integrator. I know that if a wire goes A to B, that you can send a signal the other way. <laughs> it's very simple. I mean, it's really, the, the basis of my understanding about networks comes from my training as a systems integrator. I'm just applying the knowledge I knew in terms of the computer world to my own central nervous system because the computer world is a projection of our central nervous right. system. And can you just open your eyes and look around and see what it's like to see with these nice soft eyes? What are colors like? So what we want to do is, is normalize those muscles, simply let them go. And that's what we do in the process of these lessons. What benefit did you get from relaxing your eyes, apart from feeling the letting go? Did it change your vision at that point? Well, it changed my whole nervous system. Because the eyes are the nervous system. And what did that do for your sight? How did you go from well, that relaxed state to improving your sight? Yeah, I mean, it took time, obviously, to learn how to apply that. And I found, in fact, that the improvement started to happen quite spontaneously. In other words, the inflammation levels began to settle. For whatever reason, the messages weren't going to the system that the, the eyes were under threat anymore. I don't know how. Nobody can tell us how. But that's what happened. And I said to my doctor, he was happy, of course. I mean, here I'd gone from what I was to this. And I said to him, do you think that there's any chance that I can get this, we can get this any better? And we were able to get to 2020. Wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. I said to him, how? What do you think? Where did that come from? How did we get to this improvement? And he thought, sat and he thought, mm, it's, it must be uh, cognitive. What does that mean? That it was the brain. The changes were happening in the brain.